In Windows, we already use AI in a really broad set of ways. We use it for handwriting recognition, to isolate security threats, and to power services like Cortana to help with everyday tasks. So when we think about how do we bring AI usage to Windows scale, there are three things we have in mind. First, we want to have a great platform for Windows app developers. We want, we want that platform to be a solid foundation that we can use in Windows itself, in our apps, and in other Microsoft products. And along with Azure, we want to have a complete workflow across Microsoft's AI platform, from the intelligent cloud to the intelligent edge. When, when you use AI on Windows devices, you get immediate results. Windows uses the hardware capabilities on the device to deliver great performance with low latency. Fast and efficient processing is critical when you're analyzing live camera feeds, using AI in a game engine, or handling background tasks like indexing for search. You can reduce your operational costs by building solutions that train in our cloud but move complex and expensive evaluation work to the edge on a Windows device. If you're evaluating large data, you can see further savings in bandwidth costs by only sending minimal sample data back to the cloud to improve your training sets. With Windows, developers get the flexibility to build solutions that really map to what their customer scenarios, what their customer scenarios need. Moving AI processing to the device is particularly useful when data cannot be sent to the cloud due to poor connectivity, size, policy, or simple customer preference. In the next update to Windows, developers can use pre-trained machine learning models to power their apps and experiences using a new API called Windows ML. Let's take a look at how you use it. As developers, we often face problems in our apps that are too difficult to solve with traditional algorithms, such as classifying images or analyzing sentiment in text. We know the result we want, but we can't really easily des describe how to get there. So when you can't describe the path, describe the data instead. You start with a set of sample data labeled with the expected results. So for text analysis, it could be blocks of text marked as happy, sad, and so on. We bring this data into Azure and use it to train a deep learning model that will, that will predict the sentiment based on mathematical patterns it sees in the samples. That model is then built into the app using Visual Studio. And at runtime, the app uses Windows ML to evaluate the model. The API itself is really pretty simple. There are three main actions. You load the model into the runtime, bind your app's data structures for input and output, and then evaluate the model against the inputs and use the outputs in your app. 